Well, class, that was excellent. We managed to get through the rest of that chapter rather quickly, so you're free to go early. However, if any of you have any questions, you are welcome to stick around and ask, but other than that, clean up, back up, and get out before the next professor gets mad at me again. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you have a minute or two? Thanks. Just wait until everybody has left. Oh, well, it's nothing problematic at... At least I don't think it is. I just need to ask, has something happened to you? Well, it's just... You just used to be so attentive, and for the last few weeks... You seem to be getting more and more distracted. Your test scores are still okay, though they have gone down a little bit. It's nothing to be worried about just yet. It is still somewhat concerning, though. And don't think I haven't noticed you staring at me. <laughs> don't flatter yourself too much. It's not hard to notice when I only have 10 students in my class. So, tell me, what's been happening that's gotten into you? Is something happening at home? Oh, okay, not that. Um, <laughs> what? Why do I care so much? Well, that's simple. Because how you perform reflects back on me. If you end up going under because of what's happening to you, that makes me look bad, and I don't know if you've noticed, but us professors, we do have quite a vested interest in making sure our students do well, so tell me, what is it that's making you act up like this? Oh. Okay, um, but no, no, it's just, you hear stories about stuff like this, and you never think it would ever happen to you, but it's just a crush you have. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking, but what is it about me that makes you feel that way? Are you just... One of those people who prefers older women. Is it my intellect? The lab coat? I've heard some people are into that sort of thing. I see. I, um... I haven't heard that one before. My... Professional demeanor. In my experience, that something that puts most people off. But I also suppose that explains the lack of interest. No, no, I'm not going to punish you for having feelings. If that sort of thing is what gets you going. You're a mature adult. You have feelings. And it's okay to have them. If I'm being honest, I'm... Rather pleased that you're willing to own up to such a thing. Well, most people would have just ummed and awed for ages before admitting to anything. Now, you are aware that even though we're both adults, I am your superior and we are barred from having relationships with students. Even if it wasn't in the rules, it just wouldn't be right. <laughs> Well, it could lead to favoritism among students, and what if we broke up? It would be a disaster. N no, 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 you are not just dropping out of the course for that. I expect better from you. Think about your future. All the wasted time studying. Besides, even if 
you did, it wouldn't work. There's a time period afterwards where teachers and former students are still heavily scrutinized should they interact, and... Well, I admit I don't feel the same way. Maybe if I were to know you better, that could change, but... As of this moment, no offense, but... You're simply just another student in my class. It may only be a class of ten, but... That doesn't change much. If there were any more people, I probably wouldn't have even noticed you're staring. Anyways, I... I apologize if I'm coming off rather cynical. I just... Rather not get involved in teacher-student relations, if not needed. Do you know how many times it's happened here? Too many times. Not so many, and they always end in disaster for both parties. And I don't want that to happen to either of us. So I'm sorry to say this, but... I'm afraid you'll have to find some other way to control these feelings of yours. Yes. I know the feelings you're having are valid. But they can also be destructive. I'm not asking you to repress your feelings. Just to merely control them. Besides, couldn't you find someone your own age here? I'm sure there's at least one person on this campus, man or woman, I don't judge, who would be interested in someone like you. No, don't talk down to yourself like that. Here, if I have to list a few things, then before you got distracted by me, you had some of the highest grades in the year, and you have demonstrated multiple practical applications of your skills in IT, laboratory work, and communications. And your summer experience as a lab assistant demonstrates that you're highly motivated. I've heard you've already gotten some job offers, too. That's not something a lot of people can say they have. So no, there are plenty of good things to see in you so I don't doubt you'll have any trouble finding a partner here. Mm, I see. No one else catches your eye. Well, hopefully you'll be able to control these urges, and your results will go back to normal. I'd hate to see you fall behind, especially since, in this case, the thing making you fall behind is... To an extent, me. Anyways, I think I've kept you for long enough. You have some studying still to do, and I have exams that need marking. You have a lot of potential. And I don't want to see it squandered on frivolous things and distractions such as myself. Okay? Good. So I will see you next class. Bye.